Stick around so that you can see what I have for you guys. It's tailored for every kind of ride out there, regardless of what you're into, and I think you're really gonna like what you see. All right, let's go to our intro and get started on this video. Shut up, you men sit down. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode at Buffalo Ambition. Our page is all about our family of five living full time in a camper, juggling entrepreneurship as business owners here in Central Florida, full time camper life and homeschool. Take a look at some of our playlists down below. I'm sure you're going to find something that you like. So my background here is part of the background that I put together for my daughter's homeschool graduation for the 2018-2019 year. That vlog is gonna come out next week, so be sure to hit that notification button so that you guys don't miss when that's dropped. If you haven't already, please be sure to follow us on social media so you can keep up with our daily life, as well as Facebook, Instagram for our Buffalo Ambition Barbers uh, business page, and obviously subscribe here on YouTube. We'd love to have you as part of our community. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about planning a bachelorette party in Miami. So recently I actually attended my best friend's bachelorette party. It was all planned by um, our other friend, Kaylee. She did such an amazing job and it was really tailored with a few things in mind. Obviously everybody's budget. Uh, we had people coming out from all over. Bachelorette parties can sometimes be a little hard to juggle only because there's so many different personalities and so many different uh, faucets that people are at in life. So for us, we actually had a party of 10, which is a huge group. And like I mentioned, we were all coming from different areas. So number one on our on my list is to rent a killer Airbnb. We are about two hours out from our destination for Caitlin's bachelor party weekend. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, what happened here? Ella? <laughs> Very Miami. close to the beach and our Airbnb we just so happened to be about five minutes out and we also wanted to have enough space for everyone to not only have uh, good sleeping sleeping quarters um, but also just to have space to lounge around and hang out. Look what they're doing. <laughs> we do have two tips when it comes to Airbnbs. One, close to everything else. Two, be sure that you have enough mirrors. So we had nine girls in our party of 10 and only two mirrors since we only have two bathrooms. So definitely take a look at how many mirrors your uh, location has and parking. Look into the parking situation. Um, there are parking garages available. We had two vehicles, but for the most part, we ended up using Uber or Lyft um, in order to get around. doing recovery bags for everyone. She actually had our names stenciled in, as you can see, and it was super cute. Everyone loved them. It was a whole weekend package uh, filled with some floaties. It had some sunglasses. It was just a really cute idea and just a way to really personalize um, the weekend for everyone. Anyhow, just sleep. Oh, good. 
Yeah, it was okay. We got an early wake up call, but it's not dark. I am thinking of either making a mini vlog on my Instagram account, which if you don't know, I do mini vlogs probably uh, three times a week. So definitely check out my Instagram if you're not on there already. Um, but I might do either a mini vlog or a longer video on how I managed to pack my entire five days into literally a Victoria's Secret pink duffel gym bag and a book bag. So that I can definitely make for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in checking that out. Good morning, everyone. This is day two of Caitlin's um, weekend in Miami. We're having such a great time. I'm so excited for you guys to follow along with me. I'm not gonna be able to take my vlog camera, but I definitely am taking um, my iPhone, so I'll be recording on that, and we should have a lot of fun today. that I would recommend we did this on our first full day in Miami and it's rent a boat we went on a bunch of sites we did Groupon we did um, boat setter and eventually we found one that worked for us we wanted to go over to haul over sandbar and that was such a great idea everyone had such a great time it was a great um just icebreaker since not all ten of us had knew each other so it was such a great day for us to just connect to get to know each other our captain was really cool for four hours it was perfect amount of time for us to catch some sun, be in the water. I'm about to get my favorite meal, tacos. I'm gonna get so... do a light grocery shopping um, this definitely came in handy for us anyway for those late nights after um, you've been hanging out or for those amazing empanadas and that was that so definitely grateful for that um, it also saves you some money get some whatever hot pockets whatever it is just something that you can snack on a little later <laughs> She lost her memory and he like kidnapped her. I hope I put this right. Can you feel this plastic off? Yeah, I feel the plastic off. I just don't know if. Oh, you did a bad Ride tribe. All right, so my next tip, try and attend at least one pool party. We had so much fun doing this and the cover was free. We ended up going to the Clevelander. DJ was better than DJ Polly the night before at Story. Hangover won't keep us down. Not us. <laughs> We're making the walk through the strip. I love, I love hearing um, Annie vlog because she's so awkward when trying to figure out what she's gonna say. So my next tip is applicable regardless of your budget range. I think that um, one of my favorite nights was actually visiting Ceviche 105. Uh, it's a five-star restaurant that I super recommend. So tip number, where are we? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so tip number five is to visit Ceviche 105. Okay, not really, but visit any five-star or four-star restaurant. Dinner outfit. Hello. All right, <laughs> we are my hair. We are getting ready. We're going to Ceviche 105 tonight, which I read really good reviews about. So I'm super psyched, super wow. excited to go and um, try out this food. Really digging the way my makeup came out. <laughs>
taking it for leftovers after our insane night. But um, definitely a must try. Yeah. All done. Still looking awesome. I we're enjoying our night and um, definitely ready to go to the and get some dancing in. Next on my list is games to play. We actually ended up all purchasing a pair of underwear, so a pair of panties for our bride, and she had to guess who bought them. I'm gonna call me all like, there's some thongs in there. Oh, perfect. I think I'm back. This is for the pregnant. I think I'm gonna finish these. It's so small. Children. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, did you buy this too? Yeah. But I didn't know too. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, Those are cheeky. Oh, yeah. Those are cheeky. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> if it's not on Instagram, did it even happen? Designated Instagram person just make sure that everyone is getting their photos taken um, everyone is documenting this experience obviously I was vlogging throughout the whole time there so I wanted to make sure that I had enough content to come back with so I made sure that all of my pals had their photos taken that they had not just their photos taken because you don't want to be that friend you want to have just a worthy photo taken <laughs> perfect Okay, so I need to reapply my lipstick, but other than that, we are all getting ready. It's my outfit for tonight. What do you think? It looks good. And <laughs> we're just doing some pre-gaming um, and getting ready to hit up 11. So I'll catch you guys on the other end of this night. Bye, guys. We somehow managed to make a group photo that everybody likes. Um, I will answer that. My next recommendation is for you to check out the Wynwood District. Obviously, the Wynwood Walls. I think it's really good for you to go to any community, especially when you're traveling, and get to know the people, get to know the history there. I think it just adds a little more value to your experience. So definitely check out the Wynwood District, check out the Wynwood Walls. Be sure to support those artists and take all of the Instagram photos that you need. <laughs> Obviously, Wynwood is very um, Instagrammable, um, but also I want to encourage you guys to just think outside of the wall and interpret this art um, in a way that speaks to you. Another thing that I would recommend with your weekend is to split everything up. So half of the time we did stay in like the Miami Beach area, the other half we stayed in North Miami in the art district. And it was such a nice contrast because that last day that we stayed in North Miami, it was um, just so much more cultured. We had such a good time. We stayed in a 1920s Airbnb. Hey everyone, thanks so much for following me along this weekend. We are celebrating my best friend, bachelorette party we're celebrating birthdays we've just checked into our second uh, airbnb so this is really nice it's very boho he had a garden and he played spaniard music in the morning and it was just so amazing he had a jacuzzi it was just a really really cute spot and right next door they had just created like a mall so it was just a lot of fun My last and final tip really is for you guys to enjoy your time with the bride. 
ultimately, yes, you want to have a good time in Miami, but at the end of the day, it's not about you. You want to make sure that your bride has the best time that she can. So as long as she's having a good time, that is really the priority here. That's what's most important. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys gained some value for it. I really try to make sure um, that I provided information that was tailored towards every lifestyle, every budget, and for every bride. I thank you guys so much for being here. Hope that you'll stick around, take a look at our other videos, and for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.